to read from Philippians chapter 1, verse 29. Not only just to believe on Jesus Christ, but to suffer for his name's sake. Uh, these type of message is supposed to be shared where people, Christians, are suffering. Something like uh, North Korea, like uh, Iran, and some of these places. Of course, uh, some of us also are going through struggle, suffering, pain, persecutions. So it may be applicable for us also. As we have discussed the last class about this subject, uh, suffering in various ways explained in the Bible. And we came to the last one as uh, suffering of discipleship. So what Paul speaks in this place, it is a suffering of discipleship. All those who really uh, follow Christ, the disciples of Christ, uh, have need to have the fellowship of the suffering of Christ. And that he put together with the Philippians chapter 1 verse 29 also. Not only just to believe on Christ, but to suffer for his name's sake. The question, suffering is a gift? And that's a hard thing to understand. It is very difficult to accept it. As we study the Bible, especially Philippians, as Paul speaks, yes, suffering is a gift. It is not only a gift, but a gracious gift. That's the way the Bible speaks. As we look into the original language, the Greek verb is from charisma, which means a gift of grace. That's the way it is explained. Uh, to most of us, is a wretched thing when we come to the subject of uh, uh, suffering. But as we look into the Bible, it is a gift. It is a, a gift of grace which God has given to his people. Again, if you look, the Greek word Pasco means basically to feel. When God allows sufferings in our lives, He stirs the deep chords of sensitivity. He awakens us such a way. He breaks through the heart crust of our selves and our life. that we may be able to share with others too. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 to 7, Paul speaks this way to the people. We are comforted by God in our suffering so that uh, we may comfort others also. Yeah, that is a true thing. Of course, uh, if we receive a suffering as a gift of God and something we can do greater things. Someone said this way, suffering has many purposes. Among all these, the ultimate uh, purpose is perfecting of our souls. Yeah, that is a true thing as we study the Bible. The book of Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8 says this way, even Christ, that means though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And Apostle Peter also speaks the same thing in First Peter, Chapter 2, verse 21. What Peter speaks, Christ has suffered for us, 
are living as an example that we should follow his steps. Paul realized uh, this matter and understood the greater threat of persecution upon his believers. Then the believers started to question, is it the goodness of God that we suffer? I asked sometimes in my life, we also asked, oh, is it the goodness of God in my life that I suffer? If God loves me, why am I suffering such a way? And Paul encouraged such Christians to remind them that suffering is a part of God's eternal purpose upon his people to perfect their souls. Let's go to that verse once again, Philippians chapter 1, verse 29. The verse says, originally, it had been granted. But it is granted to the Philippian believers. It is granted to us. What is that? The Greek verb, charisomai, which come from charis, which means grace. That's what it speaks. As we look in the Bible, the noun form of form is used for spiritual gifts. The wine expository dictionary of the New Testament word study speaks this way, charisomai primarily denotes to show favor or kindness. It is a favorable thing. It, it shows the kindness as Paul compared this one with the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 18 to give freely, to bestow freely. God gave freely to Abraham that promise. That means suffering is a grace gift from God. It's very hard to accept it for me. But for you, I don't know. Once again, suffering is a grace gift from God. That's where Paul encouraged his people in his time, those who went through great suffering and persecution for Christ. That's why he wrote this way in verse 29, for to you it has been, it has been given or granted uh, on behalf of Christ, not only to believe, but to suffer for his name's sake. Let's compare these two things together, suffering and salvation. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and verse 9 says, salvation is a gift. Uh, everyone accepts it, that's true. It is a gift from God. And Paul speaks in the book of Ephesians, uh, uh, Philippians, Suffering also is a gift from God. Sometimes we think we make a wrong judgment when we suffer, when others suffer, or oh, that person is suffering because of that person's sin. Or we question ourselves, is something wrong with me, that's why I am suffering. We should understand God's word, study God's word. God gave suffering as graciously and lovingly as he gives to us the faith to believe in his son more and more, day by day, by trusting on God. Does it make any sense in our life in the life of God's people, when they suffer affliction, oppression, uh, do people say that it is a gracious gift from God? Can I say? Do we say it? 
the same uh, word used by Apostle Paul in the book of uh, Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Romans chapter 8, 32, what he says, uh, he who did not spare his own son, but delivered him upon us, up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Freely give all things. It's a free gift from God. Suffering has been freely given to his people. It is a gift from God. Suffering is a gift. It's a privilege. Look just a minute. What is a gift? What do you think about a naturally speaking about a gift? What makes you when you get a gift when you receive a gift, you will be sad? Gifts makes the people happy. Not only believer, even unbeliever too. Okay. This is a gift. It's a spiritual gift. It's a divine gift. If earthly material gifts make the people happy, this divine gift, the gracious God, who is perfect, never made a mistake, he knows the past, the present, the future, if he is going to give this divine gift to God's people, it should make us happy. It's a hard thing for you and I to be happy in the midst of suffering. And this gift should make us happy. Not only make us happy, when we give a gift to somebody, do we feel happy? Uh, sure, we also feel happy. The one who gives, that person is happy. The one who receives, that person also is happy. And that is true with this subject. When God gives this gift to people, his children, God is happy. We also are supposed to be happy. When was the last time we gave thanks to God in the midst of suffering? Instead of that, we murmured God, we grumbled against God, we questioned God. We are not saying, Lord, thank you for this suffering. No, in the midst of suffering, are we able to give thanks to God? That's the subject which Paul speaks in this place. That is the nature of a gift. It makes his people happy. Let's change our attitude as we study God's word. Not to count as a part of sin, as we take this part, subject, it is discipleship. It's, this is a, a part of discipleship, not suffering because of the sin or some other things. Christian discipleship. So it's a part of suffering. Accept it. It's an honorable thing. It's a blessed thing. It's a privilege to suffer for Christ. And this is the manifestation of God's love upon his children. It is hard sometimes to understand. Therefore, we must be thankful to God. And that tendency, that theology is changing uh, day by day and changed so much in this present age. What is that the people say at present? They change, they are changing the inspired word of God. Uh, suffering is not a gift. Uh, suffering is a punishment. 
it makes many God's people disappointed when others speak that way. We should encourage the suffering Christian in this way. It's a gift from God for you. God loves you and you're supposed to be happy and we must be joining them to make them happy in such occasion. Let, let this be our mind, our attitude. It is a gift from God. Let's pray. But God, we thank thee for this evening, allowing us to study a few minutes your word. Some of our are going through struggles, suffering, but there is a God who is in heaven able to comfort us. Let this, these words may encourage us, strengthen us to count. It is, it is a blessing to suffer for Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.